Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the 14th through to the 19th of December 2013. An extremely large coronal hole formation will become geo-effective in the coming days and this coronal hole formation itself may be indicative of a foreshadow for a 7.5 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We're now looking at the northern hemisphere of the solar corona where we have a very large negative polarity coronal hole formation numbered CH597. Now this region has two active nodes within which is of interest for this watch, the leading edge and also the rear quadrant which could be indicative of one or two earthquakes over seven magnitude during this watch period. Magnetic field lines emanating from this large region are tilted slightly southward and that would indicate mid-latitudes will be most at risk in the northern hemisphere during this watch period, possibly 20 to 28 degrees north latitude. We're now using the 171, 193, 211 and 304 angstrom images where we have a striking feature in all filter ranges. Now this is a good indication of a very strong earthquake potential headed our way and I do feel it could be one earthquake around 7.5 magnitude or two earthquakes around 7 magnitude during this watch period and the most likely area that could be affected would be 20 to 28 degrees north latitude. We're now looking at the latest WSA Enlil Solar Wind Prediction Animation. This will give us a good guide as to the solar wind speeds for this coming week. Now I do have a concern that solar winds will remain at around 300 kilometers a second on day two right to the end of this watch and that is a concern that we may receive a significant earthquake and shallow or a fault line rupture near the surface. Now it is important to note that this large coronal hole formation is a recurring coronal hole and it was featured in my last earthquake watch in October where it was numbered CH591. In November it was numbered CH593 and currently numbered CH597. Now back in October this large coronal hole formation produced two strong earthquakes a 6.5 magnitude in the Gulf of California and a much stronger event six days later, a 7.1 magnitude off the east coast of Honshu, Japan, which triggered a tsunami alert. Now there is an important hypersymmetry regarding the coronal hole formation and also the Moon-Jupiter conjunction which occurred on October 25th, just three hours prior to the 7.1 magnitude earthquake that struck off the east coast of Honshu, Japan. Now this same symmetry occurs on December 19th at the end of this watch at 6.01 UTC. I'm now going to plot this very large coronal hole formation to the Earth and my number one area for concern is for the Hawaii region. My second area for concern is for the Philippine Plate region. On the western side would be the most populated area of Taiwan, further north into the Ryukyu Islands region and across to the western side of the Philippine Plate the main area for concern would be the Volcano Islands region. This is stretching northward into the Benin Islands or south into the Mariana Islands region. And my final area of concern for a possible 7.5 magnitude earthquake is for the Gulf of California. Now there have been a few earthquakes over the last week in the Revilla Gigido Islands. This could be an indication of magma heading into the region so it's definitely worth keeping a close track of as it may be foreshadowing of a possible larger earthquake into the region. And finally two volcanoes which may show signs of activity during this watch are in Hawaii and also the Canary Islands, specifically Mount Kilauea and El Hierro. I have found an interesting symmetry regarding the Hawaii region with an earthquake that struck back in 1983. Now this 6.7 magnitude earthquake was widely felt and significant but what is interesting is the position of Saturn and Mars with respect to the Sun are in an identical position. Now this may mean a harmonic resonance. Now we do see that Jupiter is in the opposite position. Now I do feel that there is a possibility here that some sort of harmonic resonance has been associated with the position of Saturn and Mars and if this is the case we may get a strong shake in the Hawaii region during this watch. The position of the planets were also important in 1975. A magnitude 7.2 earthquake in the Hawaii region had the Earth moving through the translation of Jupiter and Venus. This is exactly what's occurring in this time frame right now. And this is supported by Mars and Neptune also showing a mirrored symmetry. Now this is too much to ignore. I do feel there's a possibility of a strong earthquake for the Hawaii region based on planetary symmetry and positions. 
And for those interested in this line of work and research, I do have a newsletter available for download in PDF file format, where each newsletter is a comprehensive look of the important astronomical, celestial and lunar influences, as well as utilising precise ephemeris data and orbital harmonics. A link will be provided in the description box for the December and January newsletters for anyone who's interested. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 12th of December 2013. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.